Welcome back, friends, to the continuing adventures in The Last Spell. And before we start with the actual gameplay, I think, hopefully by now, audio should be good. Uh, you'd think it's pretty simple, right? You get a computer, you slap a nice mic on it, and you start playing. But holy cow, you got to make sure it's mounted somewhere so it doesn't get bumped. you got to make sure it's got a pop filter. you got to make sure that the weird sounds in the room don't come through. You adjust the gain. I just adjusted the different types of, uh, I don't know, the different ways it can monitor sound. And uh, I think this one sounded better from my test review. So we'll see. Hopefully this is... Uh, the premium auditory experience for all of you. Uh, but moving forward, let's see what we got in the game now. So we got the audio stuff figured out, I think. Let's see if we can figure out the production round for day five. So I believe we have tonight, we go to, so we have one night, we come to this next square, we have one more night, we come to this square, and then it's the final night, I believe. So I think we've got three nights left. I had been thinking originally I'd want to buy a seer to push this stuff back. However, it's only got, at worst, two nights to move forward. And then the third night, when the bosses come, the final night, I think it all moves back again. So I think we're going to uh, save that money and those workers, because workers have to push the fog back. We're going to take a little bit of a risk, accept it, and let the creature start closer for the next two nights. With that in mind, I'm thinking we're going to need... We've only got four now. I know the last night they're going to come from three directions. And mm, I think having a fifth person is probably going to be worth it. So let's see here. This is maxed out. That's maxed out. That's maxed out. Let's... Get some extra cash oleum here. All right. Um. Oh, the money went straight to make. You know, I was just about to complain and say it's kind of annoying. You have to click on the the separate button here to go to the screen and collect your earnings, but it went straight to my account. So there was just a patch that came out. They must have gotten enough complaints about that because it's kind of, what's the word, superfluous. So that's great. A uh, small quality of life update, but it is greatly appreciated. 625 gold. We come to the inn, upgrade it. So now we can have a fifth hero. And let's see who we've got in here. Again, we've only got a couple nights left, so you want to hire... Someone who's at the highest level, potentially. We've got a level 5 and a level 5 here. Archer. Archers are handy. Mm, I mean, accuracy is useful for uh, ranged characters. I'm a big fan of crit, the crit skill in this game. And uh, minus 12 crit is not great. <laughs> minus 5% damage in general is also not great. And I don't really care about dodge. Again, we're trying not to get shot at or attacked to begin with. So, not... And he doesn't have the crit perk here. Poison and I think that's debuff, which I don't use. I think just damage output is kind of the way to go. So, uh, yeah. Overall, incredibly mediocre. We're not going to go with that guy. Alright, so this guy, also an archer, does have the crit perk, which is nice. 13 base crit. Okay, that's fine. 17 accuracy. Okay, 5 from gears. You got 12 base accuracy. Um, plus 10% damage. I mean, you can't complain about that. Uh, plus 10% resistance. And then minus 5% resistance. So this is basically a... I mean, this is a lost opportunity slot, but it's not actually holding me back very much. And I don't care about magic damage because he's the arranged guy. I mean, theoretically, theoretically, we can look. We'll take this guy. I mean, he's just the damage alone is pretty good. And then he's got the crit tree and everything, so he's good. Uh, put him down here. That should be fine. I think five heroes is plenty to uh, finish this. So let's take a look at this guy. One thing that could be, so it used to be 
magic and all the damages were over here but now it's just the raw damage modifier and then the subtypes physical range and magic are over here as secondary attributes so this guy actually <laughs> strangely gets a bonus to magic damage right now he does not i mean as far as i'm tracking does not get a bonus to range at all so it may behoove us just to make him a uh, another mage, which is kind of unfortunate because ultimately I think in some ways a uh, a ranged character would be better for him. I've already got, I think, two magic users. I don't know if I need a third one, but uh, if that's where his perks are, I don't want to waste this, right? Yeah. He does have a, a negative to mana regeneration, but, I mean, we could work around that, I suppose. Okay, so looking at his perk options here, uh, actually we've got quite a few good ones. First Blood, again, plus 15% crit, always nice. Uh, steady Aim, if if I were going to keep him as an archer, would be probably the default, attack, the default selection. But since we're going to go with magic, I think, on this guy, um, it, this one doesn't make as much sense because accuracy isn't quite as critical. This, it's not a great one, but I think this is the way we have to go. We pick this one so he can burn out his mana every night <laughs> for the last two or, or three. Well, the last one doesn't matter because he won't recover it. So, But we got to pick one. We pick this one. It'll let him recover it at the end of the evening. Uh, as he diminishes his mana reserves, he gets a bonus from Critical Runes, which will also synergize well with First Blood. Um, as we move to the next one, Longer Weapons is okay, but the map is small and I got enough people that I don't think extreme range is that critical. Instead, he has the Initiator perk, which I like quite a bit, actually. So... Uh, but if we take this, that means he has to take the wand, and he'll be blasting off a lot of magic missiles. Uh, which is fine, actually. I mean, that means he can hit multiple people. I can get a trinket or look for other items that will give him a bonus to multi-shot. And then he can do a whole bunch of hits with his mana usage. There's nothing else. Blood magic is an interesting one, but it's really only f good if you've got a way to regenerate health in the fight either taking potions, but it's kind of a waste. It works better with vampirism on your melee fighters who they can regenerate health when they kill things in melee. Uh, so I think we'll just take Initiator, and then for the second one, if I level up again, we get Overload. And again, now we've got, we can do potions, we can do an extra scroll or something. And then if we move up again before the final night, if we can level up twice, uh, probably Critical Master just because hopefully we'll be doing quite a bit of criticals with these two perks here and whatever level ups we get. And I think that should be good. So let's, uh, I guess I'll start with that actually. Let's go here. I mean, there is a part of me that's saying I have the little, uh, I have the mana well. Why not just go with this? See, I'm doubting myself already, but we're going to do it. Actually, I think I think that makes more sense. We have a different way of regenerating mana, and I want him to burn it all out. So, good. I still do want this one. That'll make him more powerful as the night goes on. I do want this one. I think for his first night, this will be more useful. And then we can go back and get overload. And there we go. So when we come over here, we're looking for, you know, any damage ones are good, but especially crits, uh, multi-hit. Sometimes you get a bonus to multi-hit. We'll be looking for that. This is all generic. Uh, and realistically, since there's so many I could pick, I think we'll just re-roll and hope for something. Eh. I, I wasn't expecting move, but I mean, plus three. I uh, will take that one. Uh, now I don't have to worry about move anymore. Uh, again, all pretty much generic. I don't care about this one. 
Bonus 8% damage. His accuracy is 27? Oh, because of the perk. A perk gives him plus 10. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Because I'm standing still, I have that one. So, we'll take the bonus to damage. Uh, okay, well, with that, I won't have to worry about accuracy anymore, hopefully. Okay, again, this armor is... I mean, that's a, that's a good boost, but again... With our ranged guys, our magic users, we're not looking to get hit in the first place. Uh, even our fighters, really, for the most part, the ones we have currently are supposed to dash in, hit, and dash back out. So, uh, I don't like any of these. None of these are great either, but uh, we'll take that. Alright, secondary. Opportunism is not great because we don't have a lot of debuffs to work with these are fine but they're just base level so let's try again uh, okay we'll take that because uh, really with the mana well and everything we probably still won't get a huge amount of uh, mana regeneration so plus 10 what? I thought we just picked plus 10 mana regeneration why are we at 7? one of these is negative? I got negative 3 got it uh, <laughs> this is interesting, because I would like to make sure he levels up an extra time. Fine. It's not an ideal pick, but okay. These are both potentially good, but we'll take the magic damage plus 8%. Uh, I don't know if I need... An extra five on that one. I've got a uh, mana well that will regenerate a lot. He doesn't have a huge pool to begin with, so let's reroll this one. Yeah, oh yeah, I mean, <laughs> I guess we'll take the rare one. Okay. Plus two. We can, we can work with that. Who else do we have that leveled up? Vivian. Vivian is our melee. Crit runes, first blood, potions, which <laughs> gotta work on burning that up. All right, what do we have here? And it's been a couple days since I've played, and conveniently, since Vivian is one of my initial characters, I actually, again, kind of wrote out and plotted her thing here, so I've got my notes here. So our next one we're gonna go with is Runic Gift. Now, the difficulty with Runic Gift can be really great. Uh, the problem is, especially in these shorter campaigns, uh, you have to make sure you go and buy trinkets. And a lot of times you don't buy them because there's lots of trinkets out there, but there's only a couple that will really fit with whatever your character is. So if you don't see the trinkets boosting the right abilities, then you end up not taking them. Let's see what we got here. Uh, move points. She's already got plenty of move points. Health. Again, we don't need so much mana. We're not burning to begin with. I don't like any of these. I don't like any of these either, but uh, I guess we'll take the extra damage. I mean, 40% boost of damage is good. This is a significant boost. I don't know if it's going to be enough to get her... Yeah. I mean, we got, again, at least... I think two nights before the final night. I think this might be enough to get her one more level up. And level, I mean, the difference between leveling up once and leveling up twice is huge. Bonuses to stats, another perk. So we'll we'll risk it there. Who else do we have? Geralt, our archer. And again, I've got notes on him. Looks like we took overload. And next was going to be. Longer weapons. And after that, mm, mana growth? Where's that? Yeah, it looks like, once again, I kind of, uh, I had a plan, but deviated from it at the last minute for some reason. My note said mana growth after longer weapons, but I've already got mana growth. So either way, looks like longer weapons is the way to go. And that kind of makes sense. 
This one's not great. He doesn't need blood magic. He's not shooting stuff that bounces. Lone Wolf actually, I mean, a lot of my guys probably could benefit from. Uh, they do kind of operate spread out a little bit. But, I don't know, just a, a buff to damage ultimately isn't that big, a, isn't that huge, especially as a perk. So, I don't know why I take that one. So, we'll go with Longer Weapon. Longer, yeah, Longer Weapon. So that one's always handy. And what do we got here? <laughs> he's he's very slow, which is a problem. Uh, I don't, I mean, five up damage is fine. Looks like a reroll, maybe. Okay, we'll take the damage, I guess, if we have to. Mediocre. Uh, also mediocre. Um, I guess we'll take the reliability boost. I mean, it's ultimately more damage, so can't go wrong with that. Edwidge. Now, Edwidge gets a bonus to propagation bounces. Two bonuses to propagation bounces, so that's why she has that. I don't think I have anything that gives a bonus to multi-hits at the moment. What does Edwidge have? According to my notes, after... She's got Third Eye, she's got Runic Gift. Next is Energized. Hmm. I don't normally pick Energized, because I've always found it kind of garbage. It's an interesting uh, call on my part, but... I guess, in some ways, none of these other ones look great. You know, you know, once again, double, you know, doubting myself at the last second, she's got 132 health. That's pretty good. Why not take another 15% uh, crit? Oh. That's why, because we're not really we're not really specking her for crit anyway. She's only at 12. Because <laughs> she didn't get the crit tree. Okay, okay, that makes sense. Fine. Maybe I knew I was talking about it when I first did this. Anything else? I'm just going to look a little bit more. All right. Over here. These are all... Well, I'd like to say they're all pretty mediocre. Maybe more appropriate to say common. So that's... Okay. Uh, fine. Um, um, sure. That was a very underwhelming level up. All right, so I'm not usually a huge fan of putting more money into the well, but I think I probably need to at this time because I'm kind of relying on it to regenerate some of my mana here. So let's. Let's bump up the benediction. Let's bump up the restore mana. We can... Ugh, I've only got one worker. Let's upgrade a house. Sucking up my money. <laughs> okay, so now... Let's see. Who do we have that needs a mana boost? Actually, first... We'll do the uh, restore mana on everybody. So plus 12 mana healing everybody. I mean, that's a decent amount. So this is my new guy. Who I do want to use magic. So should be burning through mana pretty quickly. So 33. 65. On my archer. The guy who doesn't use a lot of mana. Edwidge is 44. You're at. 50, but you're only at 25 right now. So, since we're going through anyway, we'll give her the benediction. Get her back up. That was Clara. Alright, so let's give him the slight buff there. Plus 3 mana. And let's see if there's anything interesting in the shop for us. Actually, yeah, we can go here. Because I, I picked up some items too, I believe. So what do we have? Eh, a good wand, which has the... If we 
we look, the wand has the magic missile, so that's what you want. An item that gives a bonus to multi-hits would be nice. Uh, let's see what we have down here. We could always use a potion of mana. It's 28 bucks. I think we'll take that. So we were talking about trinkets, right? That trinket, not really helpful. This trinket, I mean, plus one move is okay. But I don't need the healing. All the other bonuses are not that useful. I don't really need a shield. I mean, really, as I'm looking at it, none of this stuff really jumps out at me. I mean, okay, there's a hammer plus two. But she's already got a sword plus two, and her other weapon is... Yeah, she's got a steel sword plus two and an axe plus two. So she's got a mobility-enhancing weapon that's good for single targets. Or a line, for, uh, linear attacks. And then the axe, which is good for horizontal attacks. So I don't really need the, the hammer. My archer... <laughs> which I now realize has been... I mean, he's still been doing great work. He's got a, a level 1 bow and a base level bow, right? So, I think we're going to replace the base level bow with a rifle plus... Is it 3? Yeah, I mean, look at that. Look at, <laughs> look at the base damage difference. Now, the rifle does take that basic shot 216 to 274 damage. That does take two action points, whereas the... Shortbow takes only one. And the shortbow has the bonus of no dodge. But, especially as we get later on and the, the boss fight comes up, we'll have very tough targets, right? Uh, he has a hip shot here that takes one action point and does more damage by far than the shortbow, although it is inaccurate. Uh, suppressive fire. Meh, don't care. Assassinate. This is the one. So, two action points, two mana, and a movement point. So takes a lot of points, right? But base damage, 270 to 342. So already it does a lot of damage. The range is 5 to 16 tiles. So it shoots a long ways. And it doubles your isolation bonus. So if... As long as whatever you're firing at is by itself, you will do a crap ton of damage. That is ideal for assassinating and sniping out some of the, the big boss creatures we'll have on the final night. And really, the final nights for the other levels, too. At least, uh, what's it called? Lakeburg, I think it is. Um, yeah, this the, the, the rifle is great for killing. And sometimes, just like the elite enemies that come along as well, this just picks them off. So it's good for your rifleman, or your, your ranged fighter, to have a rifle. I've, I found it pretty helpful. Let's... I was planning on giving this to somebody else, I think, originally. But since this person is so optimized, we'll take this crappy melee scroll away because he's not optimized for uh, physical damage. Okay. Uh, we could give this to you. Although it's a bit of a waste because you don't have the perk to maximize its use. You do have the perk, but you don't use that much mana, I don't think. You said you're going to use these scrolls multiple times. So let's give this to... Clara, she used quite a bit of mana and needed to get quite a bit of help regenerating it. So now she's got a mana potion level 2. She's got a base level magic orb and an offhand wand. Base level wand, magic book plus 1. So our melee fighter has level 2 stuff. Our ranged fighter has an average of level 2. And it looks like our magic people are A little behind so that's what we should be looking for here i think magic supporting items and this is 
and it's plus three, but there's no, it's not uncommon, there's no additional benefits to it. So I think we'll spend 10. Spend 10. <clears throat> Pretty mediocre looking. <laughs> no additional mana, but let's see what these are. Don't care. Eh. Isolation plus 16 is okay, but I don't need it that much. We'll take another potion. I'm, I'm not really feeling any of these items. I don't want to spend another 25. So let's... Let's give you a level, a level 2 potion as well. We've got a bunch of garbage we can sell. We've got 126 bucks that we're not going to spend. I think a better investment usage might be upgrading some stuff. Let's uh, actually what we can do. We've got enough money to build another one of these. <laughs> let's uh, let's give someone else. We got another worker. Let's give someone else a maximum to their, uh, there, their three mana. Okay, I think that's fair enough. And actually we can uh, restore mana to everybody with that too. Now the fences, let's prepare for the next round. Do we need to repair anything? Doesn't look like anything's damaged. Um, I was actually kind of happy with how these ballistas performed. We probably need to put <laughs> walls over here. Don't want people just wandering into the uh, into the facility. So let's put a door here. Let's put some wooden walls up. Actually, looking at it, I probably could have used my workers to scavenge some of these, but. They're not the larger piles. They don't give a lot of, they don't give any items. It's just a little bit of money and resources. So let's look at these ballistas again. I was pleasantly surprised at how well they worked. Um, I guess we can put another one here. And we've got two over there. I don't want to put it here because it's going to block that door. I don't want to put it there because between the well, it's going to block everything. So I guess that slows things down a bit. There's not a good spot over here that's not going to cause hopping issues. But OK, we'll do it here because realistically, most of the time I've got a person out in the front here and they bounce back and forth as needed. They're probably not bouncing back and forth on the inside. So. Let's put it here. Or maybe I can't put it there. Do I not have enough resources? I do. Is there something already there? No, that's a blank spot. So why won't it let me put one there? It just won't. Well, that's a good, that's a good reason. <laughs> Actually, this is a good spot. That's not going to get in anybody's way. And we have seen a lot of enemies coming from this direction. So the three here will help shut those down. And actually, that might be a good justification to put some over here. There we go. The best defense is a good passive offense. Uh, let's think. So got major attacks from both directions. Uh, I think Vivian is one of my better fighters. So wherever she goes should be one of the primary attacking directions. Let's put her in here. And then who is my other best person? We got five, so it should be two and three. Now I think if it's if we're going by pure damage output in the past, it's probably got to be Geralt here. But there's one other thing I'm a little worried about, and that is, you know, different enemies have different vulnerabilities or strengths. Um, 
there might be an enemy with a high level of resistance, right? It just automatically reduces your damage by 80%, right? Magic attacks uh, reduce the enemy's resistance by 50%. I think they ignore 50% of the resistance. So uh, it might be good. Otherwise, I've got three magic users on the bottom level here, <laughs> which might not be the best method. So instead, I think Edwidge is probably my best magic user. Maybe Clara? Okay, so I think I will put Clara up there. I, I came over here as like, you know, she's going to be casting a crap load of magic because she's up there by herself. So I gave her a second level 2 potion. I took it from uh, not Geralt. Who's this new guy? Torg here. <laughs> um, he's got four, 39 mana now. Uh, I don't think he'll be using quite as much. I gave him this short bow from the inventory, not because I think he'll shoot it much, although he might, uh, but more because it just gives him plus four critical. So <laughs> he's got 17 base now. Now with that, he's up to 32, and whatever he's lower to. So I think that'll be useful. Uh, so that means Clara is going to be up here. And really, it might work out well because she's got the orb, which has the death ray. So she can shoot these linear attacks. I think the enemy will be lined up quite a bit here. So it might work out okay. That means Geralt will be down here. Edwidge is probably the, well, at least the more experienced of the two. I've got more practice with Edwidge here. And then... Torg here is the new unknown factor. Okay. Let's see how that goes. One free building ability. Oh, well, that is. That is. I have the uh, benediction here. And looks like she could benefit from it. There you go. See, nice little warning. And of course, we've already set our people up, so we can skip this phase and get into the fight. Let's see uh, how horrific it is. Hey, the fences are already doing their part. All right, so uh, we'll let Torg go first here and just... Uh, fire with his multi-shot here and we'll see how effective that is because he's got a bonus to crit he could end up killing some people here we'll see uh let's not hit the big dudes see if we can just stagger some people yep so he killed one <laughs> which means he doesn't get the initiator bonus anymore this actually might not be a bad opportunity to use the power shot, actually. I mean, it's up to 227 damage. Can I hit this guy here with it? Power shot. He's got a lot of block, unfortunately, so it may not be very effective. Uh, how much health? 107, 158 final damage. He's got 347 health. Blech. Well, hey, a, a crit, and if we hit him again with the second one, it might finish him off. Uh, or we could shoot him a third time. <laughs> a little bit excessive, but... Uh, all right. Um, Geralt. So he still has his longbow, so actually this might be useful to pick off some of these wounded dudes. Uh, she still needs to go, so we'll leave these guys in the flank for her. Let's pick off that guy. Finish off that guy. Uh, we could... Nah, we don't need to do an ice blast or anything. The rifle has suppressive fire. Slows them and reduces their accuracy. It does do a lot of damage. Could just slow that whole group down, I suppose. And then, hip fire. 
Look at that. Dodge times four and a half. Still, 9% chance to hit. It's actually pretty impressive. Let's, uh, let's try to kill this guy. Okay, worked out okay. And then Edwidge. You've got plenty of movement, so why don't you come on up here. Um, do you want to reduce mana? Doesn't really matter. Ma <laughs> doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter if you burn off mana, but we'll hit him with this. That's the longest range. And let's put a couple over here too, since we're at it. And I guess we'll just float back to the doorway. And you've got third eye for next time if we want to shoot at something that's hidden. So that flank is complete. Up here. Um, I mean, let's go ahead and pick off these individuals, I guess. Hop the fence. Anybody else? This guy is isolated, so we can do some extra damage against him. Hit him again. And we've got not much left to do. Everything is out. Could run up and punch somebody, but then I'm going to be stuck out there. So we'll call it good and hop the fence. Vivian, you've got plenty of attacking options. She skipped through. Skipped through. <laughs> I mean, it's a little early to be doing this kind of stuff, but why not? We can hit four enemies. Eh, almost killed two. Uh, hit that guy. Hit him again. Execute him. So that fatality pays off. And actually, we got plenty of movement. Let's just step up and execute this guy too. I could probably step up and get him. What do I have? Five left. It takes three to hop. Yeah, I won't get away. So let's uh, let's not get too greedy. If I go to there, I'll just be out of range. So we'll call that a good day. Good day's work. And you've got one left. Might as well take that. That wasn't so bad. And the defenses are rocking. Uh, let's see. Why don't you... I've got an idea already. Just kill him and skip through. Why don't you step up here and do the old death ray. Now, because it's a base level weapon, it's not going to do a huge amount of damage. But, I mean, we're hitting five people, so that's... Still, ultimately, the amount of damage is pretty good. And actually, what we can do, since these guys are hurt now, they might actually be good targets for this thing to slowly whittle them down. <laughs> Although, like, if you look, that poison damage isn't going to kill those guys very quickly. Unfortunately, uh, you can zap one guy. Can't kill him. Could kill him. So let's just do that. All right. And duck back to your little hidey hole here. And then Vivian will do some cleanup work. Didn't quite kill that guy. Let's try it there. We've got two action points left. I'm not going to hit these guys. Actually, I will. This guy is not going to reach the wall. These two, well, this one in the front, and this one will be able to reach my fence. So let's see if we can make sure that these guys get killed. Ooh. I think he's got a lot of health, and I can't finish him off. This regular attack does 204 damage. This skipping attack does... 214 max. 
I do have... So I have more movement points I could spend to hit him harder with the regular attack with momentum, but I won't be able to get back to base. So we'll hit him with this. The crit helps and slows him down so he won't reach my fence now. This guy will, but what are we going to do? All right. Down, Mia. What are we going to do down, Mia? This person's lightning bolt, if I recall correctly, has extra bounces. So let's just cast one in here and see what happens. It kills a lot of creatures. Well, we like to see that. Uh, this does 89 to 103. <laughs> Final damage, 42 to 83, because of all the block. Or if we switch... 49 to 117, so better, but still not great. Uh, but I want to kill that guy, so I guess we'll go with it. And three. You got one attack left. Let's Can we hit this guy, that person in? That person is not in. Let's just wound that guy then. Uh, let's actually, I mean, it's kind of silly, but let's do that suppressive fire again. It does just slow everybody down. <laughs> I mean, they're stuck there. And that means for you, once you hop the old fence, come out here. All right, what do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six. Even with three hits, we may not kill that guy. But it's close. Actually, we got several guys here close. In fact, I think we have enough close that we can just do another one, even though it's only four shots. One, two, three, four. <laughs> and we might kill four, so that's worth it. And let's just zap that guy too over here. And hop back to safety. No big creatures for him to shoot. Let's just double check, because sometimes these firearms ignore block. I don't see that under these. Oh, well, okay, the assassinate does ignore block, so that's another nice bonus to it, right? Uh, let's... Oh, this is longbow, not the... Uh... None of these guys... Snipe shot, I don't necessarily need. Let's just go ahead and shoot somebody. Uh, how about you? <laughs> he doesn't look hurt. He looks hurt now, though. And sure, let's hip shot somebody else. How about if I step forward, I get two steps back still so I can get away. Eh, it's a decent amount of damage against him, right? Eight health. I'll take it. That's everybody. Oh, my guys. Well, they talk so disparagingly, or not disparagingly, with such despair. I mean, we're pretty easily wrecking these guys, right? That's a nice horizontal line. Oh, actually, speaking of horizontal lines, I do have the means of dealing with those, don't I? Uh, let's see. The axe you can actually throw as well. Although, actually, there's a... So this C-shaped here would be the perfect one to throw the axe to, but they're far enough away that I don't have to worry about them right now. So not my major issue. Um, but I might be able to hit these guys. She's easy to execute. Step over here and ask these guys a question. Uh, let's pull out the sword and skip through you. Okay, well, maybe we are going to... Oh, yeah, I've got two action points. I guess we can throw the axe boomerang at them. And do some decent damage. 
couple of these guys, well, a lot of them survive, but they're so hurt I can probably execute them on my turn. Uh, those guys, if I go here, won't catch me. That guy won't reach the wall. That won't reach the wall. All right, so I have to kill that guy, obviously. She gets the bonus. So can I kill him in one shot? I can. Uh, what's the next best technique to finish these guys off? Maybe a magic missile? Why can't I magic missile? Oh, you're too close. Step off to the side. One, two, three, uh, four. Oh, you got an initiator too. Four, five, six. Good. I'm not going to kill anybody. And then if I do it again, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we get that guy. Six. And then, oh, I'm out. So I can't hit him again, but I can hop back. He's hurt. You're out in the open, but you're out of everybody's range. And I think we moved. Oh, we haven't moved these guys yet. All right. I don't. Well, you have a longbow, which is a good weapon. Oh, he's not isolated. That guy's isolated. 18% chance to dodge, unfortunately, but nah. <laughs> that's what I get. Um, you got Magic Missile, which actually might not be a bad option against these guys. So let's try that. One, two, three, four, five, six. That softens them up a bit. Let's just uh, throw out a little bit more. One, two, three, four, five. And I also can just hit. <laughs> I mean, it seems strange not trying to kill anybody, but uh, that guy's in the front. I do want to kill him. How about a power shot into that guy? Up the fence, longbow, finish that guy off. And now we check, is anybody, these guys are all still probably, yep, they're all slowed from the shot from before, the suppressive fire. No, well, these guys, this person, and the crawler there, runner, are, need to die, these two. No one else will reach the walls. Um... The fireball might actually be the better option here. It does a lot of damage. And it's pretty efficient. Hits four. Um, I mean, we could shoot a lightning bolt into there. There's so many weak people. That might be worth it. You don't gain anything from low mana, so I might as well have you drink some potions, because you've certainly used a bunch of mana. Oh. Two more mana left. Let's just zap some of these guys in the front here. Didn't quite kill him. I think that's okay. And you. Hip shots. I hit the big dude. I can. I won't do a lot of damage, but every little bit helps. That's everybody. Might as well... You don't get anything bonus, so I might as well drink your potions. You're good. You're good. You've used five. No reason for you to drink a potion. Okay. We're all good. Hey, where'd that guy come from? I thought we killed those guys. Um, might as well. Can I use a longbow on that guy? I went the longbow. Bonus damage. Still won't kill him in one shot, though. He is isolated, though, so I get a little bit of extra damage. That's a tough boy. 
Uh, okay, I'll let someone else finish him. Let's do... The suppressive fire is actually working out pretty well. It does slow them quite a bit. It just blocks everything up. Now we got to kill these guys in the front. Let's do a hip shot. Uh, just finish him, I guess. That'll do it. And let's hop the fence. Throw out the old magic missile. Let's just go a little bit further. Magic missile. One, two, three, four, five, and six. <laughs> they get a lot of crits when it's the first time they're getting hit, which is the power of that first blood. One, two, three, and four. Running low on mana. Let's do a power shot into that guy. Doesn't look like I can see him. That guy? Sure. That guy can't reach the wall, so he's not a big deal. You've already fired, so it's up to the wizard here. That guy has got to die. 84 to 125, or... 91... Okay, so this one looks like does more damage, actually. <sighs> None of these people reach. That guy will. Let's hit this with a lightning bolt. Did a decent amount of damage. Let's zap. This guy did not get hit with the suppressive fire, so he's not slowed. Let's just try to wound him a bit. And looks good. We've got one more. Hit him again. You haven't worked up here yet. So you got a decent number of bad guys up here. Um, that guy's hurt. Can we axe them both? Probably. Um, next... We can probably throw the axe and get a decent number of guys there. Step up. There. That's pretty good. This is a bit of a waste, but if you use this, we can hit those guys. Switch and uh, use that. What else? This is the fast one. We're going to finish him off. So let's hit him. And then let's run away. <laughs> okay. You're a bit exposed. Some of these guys will be able to get you, so hopefully our friend here can save us. Shouldn't be a problem. We'll shoot the old magic missile out here. We'll wound a bunch. And then if we do it again should be able to kill most of them. And let's... And I can't kill these other ones, so let's just... Zap you. Let's just zap you. And hop the fence. No one else should be able to reach Vivian out there. And everyone's gone. 65 left. But actually, we're holding them off pretty well. We're not getting too close. I, I don't know if I've got a death orb down here or not. This is a perfect line for one, though. I don't think I've got a death orb. Nope. Nope. And a, and a wands and bows. Actually, this line isn't too bad for an orb as well. So maybe I'll have Vivian stay on this side. They can trade. Yeah, she's fast enough. Clara can get over there. Let's boost up your mana. Come over here. Get the old death ray going. Again, not super powerful at the moment, but uh, ah, it's going to reduce this. Let's... Um, 
What do we do here? Let's hit them with these. One, two, three, four. Oh. I still do get my multi hits. Uh, five, six. Okay. That guy is going to reach the fence. We don't want that. He's been hit by the death ray, so a regular shot should wound him. Still going to reach my barricade. That's sad. <clears throat> okay. This, however, we've got a pretty good lineup here as well. Step forward, blitz through. These guys are slow. Theoretically, Vivian could come over here and finish these guys off if they're really a problem. I don't know if I'd say they're a problem, but uh, kill you. Let's pull out the axe. We can hit two. Mm, I can't quite execute him. So I got 30 health and I can't execute him. But it does slow him severely. Only 18 health on her. I might be able to execute that one. There we go. We fall back into the town. Nobody can reach us. And that's what it's all about. Buying one more turn. <laughs> um, so... So how are we going to do this? This is an interesting one. She... Doesn't appear to have any bonuses. Okay, so she doesn't have any of the, uh, what are they called? Crit perks. Let's hit lightning back here. It weakens with every bounce, but these guys up here are already really weak, so hopefully it'll do a lot of damage to the healthy ones and still have enough oomph to kill these last few. Didn't do a lot of damage, these guys, but it did have enough oomph <laughs> to kill the last two. So I guess we'll call that a win. Uh, you've only got four multi-hits right now. Um, do I want to do another lightning bolt? Or Tome of Secrets 1. Yeah, let's try another light. Oh, I can't do another lightning bolt. Fine. Let's uh, shoot a magic missile, I guess. Hit the ones that we can mostly kill. One, two, three, four. And let's do it again. One, two, three, four. <laughs> They're just too tough. And we'll finish off that guy. Alright. Now, a little underwhelming, but what are you going to do? This guy, even though it's a level one bow, might actually be in a good spot to put some arrows down on people. It's a lot of damage. Let's see if we can finish him off. A uh, little handful there. Uh, this guy's already hurt. Yeah, I probably should have just done the magic missile like it had been, but... I hadn't done a power shot for a while. And actually, it's the short bow doesn't let them dodge. We'll take these dodgy boys out first. They're already hurt. I think that's a pretty good use. Um, you still have a crap load of mana and everything else. Why don't you go ahead and just drink it up, I guess. And we will... Let's just keep suppressive fire going. It's just, it makes me giggle. Maybe. Make sure none of these guys will breach the wall. So just one. Okay. So we suppress this back line now. And then, which one was going to reach the wall? He has to die. Hip fire. Won't actually kill him. Unless it crits. Then, then it will definitely kill him. Hip fire you. Only 5% chance to dodge. He was not... He was already slightly injured, though. I didn't get the bonus first blood on him. 
This guy is not injured, so I will get the bonus on him. Let's see if I can crit him. Nope. But they're all hurt now, so... You can just stand there and laugh at them. And we'll call it good. We'll let the balusters do their... I don't want to say mediocre work. They've been, they've been participating. More than I expected, actually. All right. Um, let's see. Let's uh, come up here. The axe, maybe. The crit helped a lot. Let's come up here. Regular sword attack. With the momentum bonus is good. We'll carry through. Bring the axe out again. Execute. Mm, I'd like to come over here, but I don't think there's a good way to do it. I could. I've done it a couple times. I could throw the axe. Mm. I have to hop over, and then I can throw the axe and hit these three. Sure. I like throwing axes at people. It's been swell, as they say. Yeah, so a nice action, a nice move set, decent damage weapons, and high mobility, and your melee fighters can put in some work. Uh, that's just 30 poison damage. We could just drop a poison here. It would kill that guy. But it's not going to be enough to finish the rest off, I'm afraid. So let's... Do I do this? If I put a death ray through, it'll kill somebody. I won't get the multi shot. Maybe I do the multi shot first. One, two. Hmm. Whatever. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> um didn't quite work out like I envisioned in my head, but let's step up so we can get another guy. One, two, three, four. Oh. Why does it let me shoot again? I thought I, I thought it didn't let me shoot if I killed somebody. Am I not understanding the rule here? All right. We'll hop over. Everyone's still in range. One, two, three, four, five, six. Alright, and you're not going to reach the wall. You're not going to reach the wall. You're all pretty lame. Let's just hit that guy. He's isolated and unhurt. Thought maybe I'd get a crit and do some damage. Guess not. Alright. Either way, these guys aren't going anywhere. No threat. Down. Mia. Um, I mean... I'm not really worried about these guys at all anymore. We can just start sniping them, probably. You're dead. <laughs> Let's just clean out the riffraff. You're dead. You're dead. You're probably dead. And I've got a wand I can hit. That guy? This guy? No, he's the big dude. Let's hit that guy. There. Next, um, you can hop over and start magic missling some people. It's going to eat up the rest of your mana. That's okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> it's a lot of crits, but it didn't actually kill anybody. And I can't. I don't have enough juice. All right. Well. I can actually do it this way. Now you've got enough juice to do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> Lovely. Now, since you've moved, that means his accuracy, because I'm pretty sure he had steady aim, yeah. So now when he does his hip shots, they're actually going to get a dodge chance. Or some of them will. Um... Let's actually just assassinate this guy for the hell of it, because it's funny. 
I mean, 830 damage. <laughs> that's that's the power of it. 11% chance to dodge for just a regular clawer. Uh, that's going to slow him down. 15%. And what's the longbow say? That guy's got... Yeah. Let's go ahead and kill that guy. Whatever. Oh, 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 oh. You've got one more. You've got one more attack that I failed to use? There. Done. Only seven left. Should be an easy... Easy end to the night. Uh, let's let this guy actually. I'm actually kind of happy with him. He needs to get some kills and level up. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's what we were hoping for. A clean sweep down there. Two enemies left. Um, I mean, does it really matter? Let's let Vivian do him. Oh, no, not with that. With this. Skip through. And you can probably just. Assassinate this guy. Executed. Fatality. Finish. Whatever it's called. And a pretty straightforward night. No losses. Only one level up. But I think Clara is the one we did give some of the experience boost to. So that's probably what helped her. 261. She's 821 next, looks like. Ugh. And probably no... Probably no unique things I've ever seen before. Though I don't remember ever seeing drainers before. I don't even know what debuffs I've been putting on people. Yeah, a lot of crits. Sure, sure. Anything else? Grasshoppers. Oh, we did jump a lot actually. I don't, I don't normally jump this much, but since we're keeping them away from the walls, it's actually working out okay. Ah, so okay, so. I was incorrect. This is the last night, unfortunately. Uh, so some of those experience perks I took or upgrades are probably not very useful. But you can see it pushed it all the way back. So this is my opportunity to spend as much as possible <laughs> to get trinkets, maybe for some of my people that got the trinket things. Uh, but I think we're going to call it there for the night. Oh, we will look at one more thing. So did we get any actual corpse pile or pile of corpses I don't believe we did I think they're all just regular corpses oh a pile of corpses here so we will take that just because we want the item because it's pretty unlikely we'll get an item that we don't want and if we get them from the corpse piles they're much more they're much cheaper much more money efficient than buying the same item from the store I think typically so I'm actually kind of curious. Let's see what this is. Yeah, okay. So they're all at least uncommon. Commander armor. <laughs> you know, this would be kind of cool. The bonus experience for someone early in the run. Uh, but really, a lot of... I mean, the plus 10 damage is, is good. What does my melee person have? I mean, even for anybody, this would be okay, actually. Vivian's got crap linen armor, but we've been talking about how melee fighters, like her type, needs a lot of movement. She's got plus one from linen armor, and this commander armor is minus one. So it's a net loss of two movement points, which is pretty significant for her. What else do we got? Journeyman's wand plus three. Again, a huge experience gain bonus. But it is a level three wand, and we were talking about we need... Uh, we need additional high-level magic weapons. We've got so many magical fighters, so that's very likely to be taken. Reinforced Greaves. Again, a little bit of bonus damage, a little bit of mana, uh, but mostly defensive stats, armor and health. So, uh, yeah, I think we take this one. I mean, in some ways... And I'm doubting myself again, because, yes, because it's a, a wand level 3, or plus 3, it does more raw damage. But, I don't care about either, any of the perks. 
The 25% experience gain, worthless. Opportunism, basically worthless. Block, worthless. This is not a rare item. This is just a a regular level 3 wand. What do we got? <laughs> I mean, okay. <laughs> Maybe. But this person has... Uh, yeah. What else? Base level magic orb and no other item? Add it wand to fine. Fine. I kind of wanted this armor, but it's not that much better, really. So we'll take that. And the reward a rusty two handed sword. Meh. I've already got a level one. I've only got one melee fighter, and she's got two level two weapons already. And they're better suited. And the best thing this has, the, uh, the, uh, is the blast here? Where is it? This one's okay. This is like a attack that dashes through three in a linear attack. But the one-handed sword is a similar attack. And this that does six in a block. Um, my melee fighter already has the scrolls that do that, so I don't need this. I don't need this really. I don't care about those. So this might actually be an opportunity to use the reroll. Okay, so we got a trinket. Um, actually, actually, an interesting trinket. Minus one movement is not great, but that isn't resistance. That's not making my characters uh, more resistant damage. That's reducing enemy resistance to damage. So that's actually a big boost to damage. Plus an 8% damage buff. That might not be bad. Tome of Secrets 2. That is another magic weapon. Which I said I needed. Does not... Because it's a novice's Tome of Secrets. This one does only a tiny bit more damage than... Even if it's a level 2. It only does a tiny bit more damage than the level below it. So this is not actually much of an upgrade. And you can see the plus 13 daily health regeneration is worthless, while the plus 1 propagation bounce is pretty good. So this is probably not what we need. And, I mean, helmets are fine, but again, we're not looking for... This is a protective helmet. I'm not looking for protective helmets. So this actually will be good. Tr I need trinkets. That trinket will help me do damage. We'll go with that. I think with that, we'll call it a night. We'll go through and check these things out and get ready for the final confrontation. Hope you had fun. Let me know what you think. Um, let me know if you're enjoying this game, if you think it looks interesting, or if you've played it. Because, again, I, as a for computer games, we've been comparing things mostly to Battle Brothers. This is very different. Yeah, it's got some similarities, too, and I'm... I'm finding I'm enjoying it, so I'd be curious to see what, or hear or see if I read your thoughts and you comment below. Either way, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.